Hey guys, welcome to the Uzaloo Garage today. How's it going? Today's video, it's not about auto detailing. Um, the weather's still kind of chilly a little bit today and we're gonna get a couple days of rain and I'm hoping Monday to get some detailing and make some videos on my auto detailing videos. I like to do a rinse and swash on the charger here with O&R and, and I like to do my Ford Fusion with the Turtle Wax uh, ceramic wash and wax. See how it does with a dirty vehicle, filthy vehicle, stuff like that, that's coming up. And then plus two, Monday I'm gonna try to have a, an unboxing of detail products monday and some shout outs this monday and see how you guys are doing with this uh quarantine shutdown are you guys working are you guys home what's going on i want to see what you guys are doing let us know in the comments you know uh if you're still working what precautions are you making if you got to run to the store to the gas station stuff like that um if you're not working are you getting some detailing done some yard work done stuff like that i want to see how you guys are doing during this stuff and i want to just share some of my little tips of what i've been doing because i'm still working um I'm blessed right now to still work for now with everything going on and we i just been we just been going to work and coming home only going out when needed um to the stores if we need to go right now we, we're, we should be good for a little while and that's the only time we're going to stores but when we do get out like to this morning i had to get gas i did not want to do it this morning but what i'm doing it is is i'm going in the morning on the way to work where there's, there's not that many people at the gas station and when i bring with me at the gas station i leave it in my car my fusion right here is i'll have some gloves you can pick these up at harbor freight use those two twenty percent coupon guys they work pretty good i always have a couple boxes in in the, in the garage i usually buy them you know a couple once a summer use them up for changing oil and another thing is too is i have in my car my fusion and you can you know that's why i save your old uh spray bottles is on a different spray bottle i have water and bleach in it i have about two uh t teaspoons of bleach or you go about three so about a spray bottle like this about a 12 or 16 ounce fill it up with the water and you know add your bleach and that's what i have in my car so when i get out or something i'll i'll, I'll spray it on my hands and just use a paper towel and throw it away stuff like that and plus two i always keep a bucket of old towels right here i cut up old t-shirts and i have a bucket for like you know checking oil and stuff like that and you can pick these up too at the store these shop rags, they work great, and you pick them at Harbor Freight too. And they work awesome. Keep some stuff like that in each car. Um, I gotta put some more gloves in the wife's Jeep and the kid's truck, but he hasn't been going anywhere, so he's basically staying home. And then for the wife's Jeep, I'm gonna get the gas for her. And so I told her, don't worry about that. We usually do anyway, beforehand. And then another thing too, if you can, if you wanna get out, and if you don't want to have the bleach, you know, but we ran out of um, alcohol. Um, rubbing alcohol and peroxide got a little bit of peroxide left um, but all the stores are out so what well, you can make up your own little spray too right here this spray right here is alcohol and i put some uh, peroxide in it a little bit of water and you can what's well, nice this if you're going out and you have to go to the store you put this in your pocket bring some old rags or some towels spray the cart down put it on your spray it on your hands if you have to if you're not wearing gloves and you should be safe don't touch your face that's all and then when you leave the store if you are using gloves you know throw them away in the trash can I, uh, a couple people that uh, friends of mine that know people that work at the grocery stores and people are just throwing them on the ground in the parking lot that's wrong i mean come on so that those are some of the things i do so when i do go to the store i usually take this in my pocket and spray everything now we only went to the store once so but it's stuff like this that uh hopefully it can help you guys out what are you guys doing you guys got any other tips on on stuff you're doing of washing your hands going out in public and when you're coming home, you know, that's all, some of the things we're doing. Even when I come home from work, you know, I'm changing, cleaning up right away. And then especially out in public, you know, changing, you're cleaning up right away. Washing your hands more and stuff like that. Been doing that a lot more, washing your hands. So hopefully you guys are doing great. And I figure, share these little bit of, you know, tips. And um, I want to get some detail in it, but it's a little chilly today. Yeah, and then when I was at the gas station this morning, what I did is I got out, put a pair of gloves on. And then went inside and there was, you know, one person there on the other side already pumping gas. So went in, basically paid, and then, uh, you know, made sure not tuck my hands on the doors and stuff like that. And some of the, the doors, too, if you the way they swing out, you can use your foot and just push it open. And then just use your shoulder or whatever. And um, that's one way of doing it. And then, so what I did is I had the glove on. I went, uh, pumped the gas with the glove on. And then basically when I was done, put everything back, took my glove off, threw it away right there in the trash, right over the trash, got in my car, didn't have to worry about it, don't, didn't touch my face, nothing, so that was one way to do it. And uh, yeah, that's a good way to do it. Actually, it might be, even when all this is over, it might be a good way to practice this still 
And plus too, I have that bleach spray in my car. You can even spray the handle off if you wanted to. And you know, the push button where you're pushing, you're selecting your um, octane. You can do that and you can wipe it off with a paper towel and throw it away in the trash. Cause they all have trash cans right there by the pumps. And that's something that um, I started doing. So I think I'm gonna continue doing it. Keeping some gloves and that, and you never know. That's why I'm doing on that. So what are you guys doing for uh, stuff like that? So pretty much want to see how you guys are holding up during this. If you guys still working or sitting at home or what are you, what are you guys doing to uh, go into the store to precaution stuff like that. If you're using sprays and gloves, masks, stuff like that. Um, yeah, figure I want to see how you guys are doing and holding up. Let us know in the comments. So I figure I should show some tips that we are doing. And if you guys got it, uh, a better way of doing it, let us know too. And I'll get some of the more videos out next week. Hopefully some detailed videos, more car show videos coming up. Well, that I already made from the uh, um, Autorama and the Detroit Auto Show. And I have some, uh, old, some other old ones. Because I think this year, man, the car season is going to be over. Um, it just all depends how everything uh, clears up and stuff like that. But it might be over this summer. And we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Because they're talking about closing schools and stuff like that. My kid's out of school right now with uh, his cause his fire stuff he got finished fire one fire two he graduated that he's just but he's still doing his classes online for emt which is nice so he shouldn't be behind on that that's about it guys and i'll have some at the end of the video i'll have some end links for you guys if you want to check out some car show videos auto uh, and some auto detailing and uh just let us know how you guys are holding them up plus two if you're new here let us know let us know below first time watching it uh let us know how you guys are holding up doing all this old deal and hopefully everybody's safe um I know a lot of people are probably getting laid off too. The money's going to be tight. Just got to keep saying prayers, you know. And I'm blessed right now. I'll still be working. Things may change, you know, in a week or two. So we'll have to wait and see. So you guys have a great one and, you know, have a great weekend. All right, later.